So every time I tell people that we've moved to Buffalo, they're like, oh, hope you enjoy snow. I'm supposed to get a storm tonight and tomorrow. Is it really as bad as Newfoundland? Like there's no, there's no way it could be as bad as Newfoundland. Interesting. <gasps> it's starting. Oh God, it's starting. More Ikea. The Ikea order came and it's still stormy out. We'll see how the rest of the day. Oh, there's a boat. Hello, a boat. Sometimes big ships go down here. Originally, I wanted to get like a wood shelf with brackets that kind of attached to the wall that were black. Everything I found was really expensive. Like my wish list one was like 1500. I got this one from Ikea. Not a huge fan of the glass shelves, honestly, but I'm gonna set it up, see what it looks like. If I'm still not loving the glass shelves, I might do a little Ikea hack. I haven't decided yet whether that's gonna be replacing the glass with wood or if I'm gonna cover the glass with wood looking wallpaper. So we'll see. I don't know. Shag this. Shag this. Okay, the bookcase is done. Sorry, my camera died yesterday and I'm a noob and forgot to plug in my batteries after we did our adventure the other weekend. Anyway, got the shelf done. Not loving the class. I mean, it's okay, but I think it needs some wood. I put a poll out on Instagram to see if you guys thought that I should keep a glass or if I should hack it with wood shelves and the majority of the boat said wood. So we don't have any tools. Uh, we don't have a workshop. We don't have anything. So typically I would do this the right way and get wood and replace the glass and notch everything out but we don't have tools to do that. So what I've done is ordered some contact paper, like a light walnut contact paper off of Amazon. It looks good from the pictures. So I'm gonna try it on the glass shelves and if it looks like shit, I'll take it off and we'll go get the wood, but it's like 20 bucks for two rolls. Anyway, it's gonna be a couple days till it gets here. So let's uh, fast forward to that. <gasps> We're back. The rolls have arrived from Amazon. They're a little bit browner than I thought they were gonna be. The other wood is a little more yellow, but we're gonna give it a shot. This is gonna be like makeshift. If it looks like shit, we're gonna get the wood cut down and actually do it properly. But if it works, then this is only gonna cost $20 and um, it's gonna be way less work than actually getting wood cut down. Let's do it. So there's some air bubbles in the vinyl. So the trick to that is pinprick a little hole in the bubble with this, and then use like a credit card or something and just like squeeze the air out. I'll show you. There's an air bubble right there. Okay, moment of truth. It didn't look half bad. I'm not sure if I like it. Every time I do a project, I do this. I like rearrange it, step back, look at it, rearrange it again, look back at it. Him and ha, do I like it? Do I not like it? I think I like it. I don't, I don't know. I might leave the top one glass. It definitely looks better with stuff on it. I'm gonna leave it like that for a couple of days, see if I like it. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so uh, you get notified when we post new videos. Also, just wanted to say welcome for those of you guys who came over from Peter's Instagram slash Twitter. Thank you, Pete, for the shout out, and welcome. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. We post new videos on Sundays, usually Wednesdays, and sometimes on Friday. So, uh, thanks for joining us. I did too. So we are trying to break in to our apartment. We just left our place. Neither of us had keys. I don't even have a camera, so this is shot on my iPhone. I pulled the pull pin here from the emergency label. So now I've got basically a paperclip-like instrument here. We, we, we haven't locked the deadbolt yet. We've only locked the hand key. So we can get this in there and flip it to push in the door latch. We can open it. Now this obviously won't work for a deadbolt with an auto-locking handle lock. It should work. What? That is too, oh my God.